Well, I told myself I wasn't gonna make any more new video, any more new videos, but here I go with another one. So I guess today I just want to show off this. I guess you could say malware. It's more like yeah, it's it's a program that steals a user's Discord token. I wrote it using Rust, and this idea was based off a Python script that I found online because I was getting interested in malware and I'm like, what's one thing that's everyone uses nowadays and it's discord. So my first thought was, what is something that people are usually afraid of in discord? And it's like clicking links on discord. And then next thing you know, you find out that your discord token was stolen. So that gave me the idea of to build a discord token sealer. And then I decided to look for it on Python. Cause like Python is a very simple programming language and it takes a few lines of code just to get some work done so i decided to look for it in python and i found this script online and then just to make it more difficult myself i decided to go on the rust journey and try writing this script and to translate this script using rust and just trying my best what i could do so uh here you go on this tiny adventure so let's see so let me first go into my directory and uh now let me go open up my uh, main.rs file let me open this up and here we are so this is my main.rs file right here i have the logic for the webhook in which the which in which the discord token is sent to uh, i guess uh, a webhook in which the hacker could use later on this regex i found it using uh i, f I just copied the regex that i found uh from the Python script that I took inspiration from or that I literally just copied and rewrote it in Rust. And then uh, later down below, I have the find token logic, which uh, is used to find the token. And then if we keep on looking down, I have the logic right here, find token. And this logic actually took me a while to write is I was having such a hard time just trying to, I guess, read in files. And then right here, I have a simple little art, ASCII art that I found. And I have a little description. Ooh, I stole your Discord token. And then on webhook, this is where you're supposed to put your webhook. And like, uh, just make an instance of a webhook, either a Discord webhook or just a random webhook. And these are just the hardcore values and where you can find the Discord token, the uh, authentication token. And this is the logic to uh, traverse through it. And now let me just uh, run it. I don't have this memorized by heart. But let me just uh, copy this command, which uh, makes it so I could like, so it makes my Rust code uh, turn to an executable. Looks like I have everything up to date. And let me just uh, build my crate because uh, with Rust, it uses things such as crates. And let me just build that. And this usually takes a while. There are three stuff that's uh, compiling or building on my end but yeah this was just like a short project for myself to get me interested in malware development i don't think it's malware but i don't know it might be i don't know some people don't i feel like this isn't that impressive but who knows maybe people find it impressive uh yeah so i don't even know for the most part but for me i for me it was cool it was something cool to work on and just to get better at so we're just waiting for this to load up and we're just waiting and waiting and waiting. All right. So it looks like it loaded up. Now let me go on my file directory and just like uh, open up the exe file. It should be on targets. And then I go on right there on the x86 debug. And then I found my little application. I'm going to click on run. And then we're going to see it load up and voila. Here are my Discord tokens, but in my case, I blurred it out so you guys won't see my personal ones. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't get fucking hacked. <laughs> uh, and uh, I want to say uh, that's about it for this video. This was, I just wanted to make a video. This was something I was doing over the weekend. I did this like in, a, it took me two days to build just because I wasn't used to building, uh, I guess, Rust applications or just writing code in Rust. I was getting, uh, the whole idea between borrowing and ownership was just like a lot for me to understand. But that's why it took me a day. I pretty sure some skilled Rust developers could do this a lot faster than I could. But anyway, uh, let me just clean this up. And hopefully you guys like this video and uh, 
be sure to like and subscribe. Peace.